Hello everyone, I am here for another After Dark episode. This was supposed to be recorded in late January, but did I get to it? No. Um, today I'm going to be working on a more complex piece. I don't even know if I'll be able to get to the uh, line art or finish the line art. So, I'm a professional as you can see. Very professional. I I'm joking, by the way. I don't know if anyone catches that. I'm not a professional in the slightest. But yeah, I was supposed to record uh, an After Dark episode in late January, but that didn't happen because real life sucks. Um. So what's been going on in my life? Well, I finally got a counseling appointment set up. Yay, I'm being responsible for once. But it's not gonna happen until March, so... Yeah, I get to wait for that. And then my doctor's appointment had to be rescheduled, so... I get to wake up early for that. Let's see, other than that... Uh... I'm still on the same medication that I'm on. I'll have to get a refill. Uh, I'm Genshin Trash. You could probably tell if you follow me on Tumblr. I'm Genshin Trash now. I mean, you already know that I can Zhongli and Loki thirst for him. But, uh, honestly, who doesn't? <laughs> honestly, who doesn't Loki thirst for him? You could claim to be a straight guy, but then Zhongli comes in and all of a sudden it's questionable. <laughs> And as you can probably tell if you follow me on Tumblr or Instagram, I got Zhongli in my first 10 pull, so yay! I get- I've been saving for Raiden and Kokomi, even though they're coming out at, they're getting their reruns at the same time, so that's joy. Um, I also got another 5 star yesterday, Chi Chi. So now I have the Traveler, Zhongli, and Chi Chi is my only 5 stars. <laughs> For now, because again, I'm saving for Raiden and Kakomi, and I might lose 50 50 for one of them, which I would not be happy with. If I get another damn Chi Chi, I know who to blame. Those of you on Discord know who I'm talking about. This is kind of an older drawing, I think. I can sort of tell when sketches of mine are older. Oh, I'm filming this on Valentine's Day. Um, I'm spending it with my Dakimakra. So, yeah. Um, I don't really have any plans. I didn't even know Valentine's Day was coming up until the night before, so... Yeah, my concept of, like, telling time is just fucked beyond belief. Uh, Home Alone. The greatest time to record videos and get drunk and high. Except I don't have any pop brownies, and I haven't been drinking lately, because the last time I drank, for some reason, I got into this really weird, like, state of mind. I don't know how to describe it, but basically nothing felt real. Like, it's very hard to explain. Um, basically, the last time I drank, which was last month, um, I got into this really weird, like, headspace where just nothing felt real. Like, nothing around me was real, maybe, like, I wasn't real, nothing existed. I don't know how to describe it, but it was weird, so I think sort of not drinking as much, because I just got into that really weird sort of headspace, and I don't know I'm not exactly sure what caused that because I wasn't on any other drugs at the time. But yeah, that that happened. But other than that, um, well, the Italia Shipping Awards is going on now. I mean, the voting's closed now, but it should be coming out soon. I'm sure it will be very interesting to see what wins Ship of the Year. Honestly, I'm happy with how many votes that Roman got in the hetero, best hetero ship. I was not expecting such a big turnout, if I'm gonna be honest. But I'm really happy, so thank you guys, thank you for consuming my prop- I mean, content, and I don't know what-
what half the stuff is in this sketch. Why am I so messy? <laughs> I always have to make my sketches like super sketchy, like they always have to be super quick sketches, but then they're just messy as hell. And sometimes I can't tell what I've drawn. But yeah, because of the huge turnout with uh, Rome Hunt, I'm definitely planning to make more content for it. Like, I already have a bunch of doujinshi ideas that I've just been putting off for a while, but I think this year I'm gonna try and get at least one of them complete. That's sort of the goal there. I think I drew the bed wrong in the sketch. That sucks. I'm gonna have to adjust for it. I mean, this is called a rough sketch for a reason, because my original sketch here was messy as fuck and I have to redo stuff. Other than that, uh, I've mostly just been dealing with real life stuff. I do have one video. It's gonna be a pretty long one. I don't know how long because I'm still scripting it, but I do have one video in the works that's going- it's going to be pretty long. I don't know how long it is because it's still in the scripting pro process, but that is going on. Also, you probably noticed, uh, one of my videos is gone. My doujinshi readings, my 100 subscriber special. YouTube decided to take it down because they thought it had sexual content in it, and even though I tried to, like, get the video back up, it didn't work, and I got a fucking strike for that. Yeah, that's on my channel now. Thanks. Thanks, YouTube. I'm just gonna blame YouTube for that, because I don't know if somebody, like, reported it or what I can't say for sure so yeah thanks YouTube fucking YouTube so that wasn't nice to see literally wake up one morning and I get informed that happened thanks YouTube this is why I don't look this is why I'm not really interested in, like having YouTube as a career because YouTube's a fucking dick I say this as I'm recording a video for YouTube, so... But really, there's not- there's not many places you can go outside of, like, YouTube. I mean, you can make the argument that, that like, all sorts- all sorts of social medias are fucking assholes. Like, Twitter, like, Genshin Twitter, I pretend that doesn't exist. I don't know what this is, so I'm not drawing it. I pretend Genshin Twitter doesn't exist, because... <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> like, I hear all sorts of shit from there. It's so fucking bad. Shut up, dogs. Like, people get canceled for fucking anything. Like, you ship the wrong stuff, you're getting canceled. And same shit happens on Instagram. I think Twitter stuff just bleeds over to Instagram. That fucking sucks. Oh my god, why can't I move this? Um... But yeah, I pretend Genshin Twitter doesn't exist because it's- it just sounds horrible. And then Instagram can be a fucking hot mess. I mean, you already know some of my experiences if you watched past videos. Mine were fucking Instagrams being a fucking hot mess. Sometimes I question why I still have an Instagram. But then I remember it's mostly for my art and when I sell at like functions and stuff, it's like the only social media I can like put on there. Cause I can't really put my Tumblr on there cause it would out me as trans. And I don't feel comfortable doing that in such a conservative area. But yeah, the best advice I can give nowadays for like social media related stuff is to block liberally. Just block people liberally. Yeah, people will throw bitch fits over it, but so what? It's better for your mental- if it's better for your mental health, then go for it. Just block liberally. Like, you don't have to put up with people's bullshit. You really don't. But, um, besides that, besides Italia, besides Genshin, I've also been into Azerlane. And currently, right now, the Northern Overture rerun is going on and I got all the ships! The queens came home. All of the Soviet ships came home for me, so that's good. I even got Sovetskaya Russia fully limit broken, so that's good. God, why can't I draw hands? Um. So yeah, that that's some good stuff going on. But outside of that, I kind of feel like the Italian fandom's like kind of quiet in a way. Like maybe it's just me leaving all sorts of like 
Discord servers. But it just seems sort of quiet to me. I mean, I left the Hitalia region. I just got bored with it. Like, there was only like one or two places I would mainly post on there. And I pretty much muted all notifications from that server. So I figured I might as well just get out of there. I'm still in Coco's server. Pretty much left most other servers. But as for the upcoming video that I'm working on, it was actually an idea that I thought about a while back, but I had to put it on hold. I think it was last year that I was low-key like working on it, but then I put it on hold because of stuff that came up. And then recently I was inspired to like bring it back up, so yeah, I've been working on the script for that. It's gonna be a long video. I, I don't want to give away what it is, but I hope you guys will enjoy it. Guys, I'm stupid as fuck. I forgot my tea was here. <laughs> now it's just sort of warm, sort of lukewarm and stuff hot. Fuck. It's right on my desk. How could I forget that it's right there? Blind. I'm very blind, even though I have my glasses on. At least it tastes good. It still tastes good. Man, this is gonna be health line art. But let's see, what other Hitalia related stuff could I talk about besides the random seeming quiet? I mean, we finally got a cannon! Ireland! Ireland, yes! That makes the Irish in me very proud. God, I want to visit Ireland one day. I mean, the real, <laughs> the real life place. Just, I want to go one day. I've talked about it before in real life. Like, I want to go to Ireland someday. Also, to answer any questions in the sketches, yes, all the merch is up for Romania because I'm a fucking simp. I am a fucking simp. Fucking simp that drew and got his own docking marker made of him that somehow my parents don't know exist. Somehow. Either that or they just choose not to talk to me about it. Speaking of that Dakimakura, I'm getting a Dakimakura charm made of the exact same design because it's not socially acceptable for me to take a full-size Dakimakura out in public. I mean, we've seen how that goes in some YouTube videos. There's some things that I'm drawing here that I don't actually own. Like, this is supposed to be a little, um, I don't know how to describe it, but it's basically a little container for pills. Like, it's marked AM and PM that I need because I forget to take my antidepressant sometimes. And I sometimes forget my melatonin, which fucks up my sleeping schedule. And depending on how my counseling goes, I might be put on more medication, so... Because I mentioned it in my channel intro, and I'm gonna mention it again. I kind of think... I, I just can't help but think that I have something else that's comorbid with my depression. I mean, besides my gender dysphoria, but that's on my records already. Even though some people don't like that... That's on my record. <coughs> my transphobic parents. <coughs> but yeah, I just can't help but think I I have something comorbid with my uh, depression. I don't know what exactly. Because like, I'm not against self-diagnosis entirely. I mean, I know, gosh, my thoughts on self-diagnosis are really complicated. I understand that getting a diagnosis is hard especially with like people not being taken seriously and they try to go in for like a diagnosis but I kind of think I'm um, how do I word this I'm trying to find the perfect words to like word this I kind of think people kind of need to be like careful in a way because like they could think they have one condition but it's actually like connected to something else like, I can understand why people, why some people go to self-diagnosis, because getting a diagnosis is hard. I would know. I had to go do my autism diagnosis, and I'm probably going to make a story time related to that, probably in, like, April, since that's Autism Acceptance Month. Like, go more into detail of how that went. I kind of think people sort of need to be, like, careful, like, when diagnosing themselves. I don't know. I'm not one to sort of like say people are like fake claiming. I'm I'm not that person. I'm I'm not a dick like that. I know there are people that fake certain conditions. I mean, we know about that one uh person from TikTok that 
faked having Tourette's. But I think in a way, like, faking that sort of stuff is a mental condition on its own. Because I know I've seen a lot of people, like, talk about people faking, uh, DID, dissociative... Fuck, can I speak? Disassociative identity disorder. And I'm not an expert on that, um... So I'd rather not, like, say anything about that. Like, obviously, I don't have it. I don't really know anyone who does have it, so I'm I'm just not gonna speak on that. I just know that that's been happening, and I'm just not. Sh I just don't think that like fake claiming and that sort of stuff is really the way to go. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to talk about this in an after dark episode. <laughs> that kind of <laughs> went dark for us. Well, not exactly dark, but sort of more serious, I suppose. But yeah, I think in April I'll make a story time about how I got diagnosed- how I got diagnosed with uh, autism, so. Because that was a whole fucking process. That- that wasn't an easy time in my life, to be honest. I might make another story time sort of around the same period as that, like detailing something else. But yeah, um, I think in both story times you'll see like, that wasn't an easy time in my life. And the best part is it was in the latter two years of my high school experience, junior and senior year. So yeah, that, was, that, that just compounds, make it just shitty times of my life. I know some people will ask with like all these like events that happen in my life will I ever make a draw my life sort of video. I've thought about it but to be honest I don't think I will because it would involve going into some pretty deep stuff and I'm just I don't know if I'm comfortable with that especially with that information being out there and you just don't know what sort of people because that's the thing, um, I don't know if I've talked about this in a video, I might have, I don't know. I, my mind's fucked. Um, I don't really understand, like, maybe this is like a boomer thing of me to talk about, of me, of me to have this perspective, but I just don't get why people, like, list their triggers, like, on their social media. Cause the way I see it, like, not everyone has good intentions with that sort of information. Like there are certain things that trigger me. I'm I'm never going to say what those are because I just don't want people I just don't want like people with bad intentions to use that against me. I I don't. And I also can't help but like think sometimes that people are misunderstanding like what triggers actually are. Like, you're allowed to think that something is distasteful, but it's not exactly like a trigger, if you get what I mean. I think it's mostly just kids misunderstanding, which I think is more, I, I think it's understandable because they're just kids. If I were to describe a trigger, I don't want to say, like I want to use one of my triggers as an example, but I don't want to say what it is. I don't want to give away, like, what it is. Because again, people could use that against me. Because not everyone has good intentions online. Which I wish people would understand. But, um, I'll just say it, like, vaguely. There's, like, a particular... There's a particular, um, kind of place that I go out of my way to avoid because if I am, if I have to stay there more, like, for a long time, like, I don't know how to describe it, because, again, this is the sort of thing that still affects me nowadays, even though some people don't want, just want me to forget about it. It's, it's not that easy to just move on from that sort of stuff. But there's a particular place that I cannot be around. I go out of my way to avoid it because if I stay for too long, then I just remember um, something that happened to me that I probably will never say what that is. And 
it's 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 not a good time for me mentally. I don't know how to finish this. But yeah, that sort of stuff I would say is like a trigger. Like you go out of your way to like avoid certain like events or places because it reminds you or even like smells or foods or stuff like that because it just reminds you of uh, something that happened. But I understand like wanting to be more sensitive to people with uh, triggers. I understand that. But I just can't see myself personally like listing like triggers of mine because people online just don't have good intentions. They don't always have the good best intentions. I don't know. I want to move on. I, I don't want to linger on this sort of topic because it just reminds me of stuff that happened that I'm still affected with today even though some people want me to move on from it even though it's it's not that easy. Wow I did not expect this to get as deep as it has. Um, let's see. I'm trying to fix the face here a bit. Cause I can't. I can't help but feel like it's too long. But then if I make it too small, I should probably grab something to eat too. I think I have some sushi in the fridge. Tea. Now my tea is cold because I forgot about it. Fuck. <laughs> Man, this is gonna be hell to try and color, and shade, and everything, but. I kind of been wanting to work more with like backgrounds and stuff, so yeah, it's what comes with it. I really need to practice drawing hands more. I feel like I've been sort of slacking on that. Speaking of trying stuff out, um, I mentioned in my channel in introduction that I make polymer clay uh, charms. Um, I used to do a little bit of it back in high school, but wasn't always easy like getting supplies for me so I kind of didn't keep up with that but now nowadays that now that I have more of a um, way to get supplies and stuff I've been getting back into that I kind of think though like I've made a few uh polymer clay charms and oh fuck I don't think I have any here hold on did I leave them no I did not leave them in this desk kind of think I need something new to sort of seal it, seal projects after cooking, because I noticed that the stuff I'm using now, um, it's Mod Podge gloss. I kind, I've kind of noticed that it kind of is still sticky even after drying. There's like a stickiness to it, so I'm probably going to get something else. Not clear nail polish. I already know that stuff is garbage, but yeah. Um, besides that, I've actually been getting into uh, jewelry making, because I- Oh, I think the phone's ringing. I'm not answering that. Fuck you. Um, my autism says no answering phones. <laughs> um, because um, I'm in contact with people that make jewelry, and I just think that's super interesting. So I've been getting into that, sort of learning the ropes on that. So I'm hoping to make some stuff with that. Sort of branching out a bit and trying other stuff. I think that's good. I think branching out and trying like different stuff is like only natural for like artists. Like even if they end up like not liking what they make, like a few years down the line, they might get back into it and they don't like what they create. Like with me and pixel art, I used to hate doing pixel art cause I thought my pixel art looked so ugly compared to like other people's pixel art that I've seen. But then I got back into it. Um, few months ago and I love what I made so if you need any like art advice if you're feeling like overwhelmed like just getting into something new I think just to like relax like you don't have to like the end product but just to sort of like take a break from whatever's stressing you I think is good next month I'm going to uh I mean, besides my counseling, I'm going- Oh fuck, I dumped a bit of my tea, thankfully. It's not on my laptop or my drawing tablet, it's just on myself, so that's good. <laughs> In a way. Um, next month, um, going to St. Louis. So, I'm- I don't think I'm gonna be there all day, but I'm probably gonna stop by some stores. Mostly craft stores, see what's there. There, I drank the rest of my cold mango tea, even though I dumped some of it, but thankfully it wasn't on me or my phone that's nearby, so. Oh, I got some on my, 
I got some on my keep on my mouse pad. Well, I'm using the mouse pad for my tablet. No! Why did I get it on my mouse pad? That's my Romania mouse pad. I don't want it to get dirty. I'm a simp. I am very much a simp. And I am very much mad that I got a bit of tea on that mouse pad. Okay, I cleaned up my tea cup and I got my sushi. Got my sushi all out. We got chopsticks. Got the sushi ginger, soy sauce, wasabi. I got it all mixed together because fuck it. Um, dang, why is this so squishy and soft? I didn't have it out that long. It was refrigerated. Am I a mukbang YouTuber now? <laughs> Am I a mukbang YouTuber <laughs> now? Gosh, these are not firm at all. It wasn't out of the refrigerator that long. Gosh, I can't even eat these with chopsticks. They're so soft. <laughs> And then there goes my plan with that. I'm not the best at using chopsticks, but damn, why are these soft? I hope you guys are enjoying this ASMR mukbang of me eating sushi or trying to, but failing. There's a sushi place about an hour from my place. I haven't been there yet, but I really want to. Thanks, cheap sushi. Thanks for falling apart. Now I gotta eat you with a fucking spoon. I mean, it tastes good, but damn, why was it so soft? I couldn't even use chopsticks on it. Look at that, guys. I'm a mukbang YouTuber now because I'm eating in the after dark episode. I've never actually watched any mukbang videos. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not really a big fan of mukbang videos. Like I already think I sound gross when eating so why would I want to watch other people eat? But yeah, there's that sushi place about an hour from me that I want to try out. Found it while I was at an art store, so. Yeah, there's a few places I want to try out. There's a Mediterranean place that I want to try out because I miss lamb euros. <laughs> I love lamb euros. There used to be a place in Washington that I go to and they had the best lamb euros and I just haven't had the had them for years and I miss them. I miss lamb. Lamb is like the best meat. And I know some people are going to be like, Ghost, how could you eat lamb? Lamb are so cute. How could you eat that? Well, tonight I say, fuck you. It tastes good. <laughs> It's like the one meat that I can stand because I tend to have problems with food textures. Specifically of like vegetables and meat, so I'll take anything I get. I don't know what the point of this episode is. It's Valentine's Day. I'm eating sushi with a fucking spoon because it's too soft for chopsticks. Got this drawing that's going to be a pain in the butt to complete. My mental health is sort of fried. I mean, it's not as bad as it was in past years, but... There's a reason why I'm glad that I'm seeking counseling and that I'm on meds. This episode is just a mess in general, but am I still going to upload it? Yes, because I don't want to have to redo another one like on one of the episodes because I ranted too much about stuff. I think that's a, it for the mukbang part and probably it for the video because I have nothing else to say. I hope you enjoyed this video even though it was a fucking mess. I'd probably say it was a fucking mess from start to finish but yeah I'll see you guys next time and hopefully I won't be such a hot fucking mess but or maybe I will who the fuck knows um but yeah goodbye for now.